Sienna. And I'm Kim. And I'm Simon. This family of three left everything on the land, got a sailboat, and now they're traveling around the world, living a life that many of us dream of. We live on a sailboat. It's called Bridikin. It's a 56-foot oyster. We've been living on the sailboat since 2014. We've done 30,000 nautical miles. We've sailed around the Mediterranean, across the Atlantic Ocean. We've gone up the Caribbean to the United States and then back down, and we're currently in Grenada right now. I was in the British Army and I got asked to move a boat from the south coast of England to Germany and I just fell in love with sailing even though it was cold, a bit wet and, and we got hit by two storms, I still loved it and when Kim and I got married we started doing some sailing holidays didn't we? Yeah. And we sailed in the Mediterranean, Turkey and a couple of times in the Caribbean and we just fell in love with it, didn't we? Yeah, and we kept going on holidays, but we wanted more and more. So we eventually bought our own boat. We bought a 35-foot Moody, and we kept that on the south coast of England for a couple of years. And then we thought, we want more. <laughs> um, so doing the weekends wasn't enough. And so we then said, well, let's, why don't we just sell everything and buy a boat and just live on a boat and sail around the world? So. Uh, we had Sienna when we had the first boat, and then after that we decided, ah, oh, let's get out of here. Yeah, it's too boring. We need more of life. We need to see the world, how it truly is. Yeah, I think the main reasons that we decided that we wanted just to leave land and go sailing was because we worked a lot and um, we had Sienna as a young child, well she was a baby, and we didn't get time to see her. And I worked in London, Simon was very busy, he was um, trying to bring up Sienna. I just felt like there wasn't really a cohesive family unit. Um, mm. We would just see each other at night, like passing ships. So we thought, well, if we bought a boat we would all be together and it could be, you know, a project for all of us to hopefully sail around the world. Now it's been five years and we haven't made it around the world yet, um, but we're still going. And um, so I, I think some of the things we were looking for were just more freedom, um, being with nature more, being with the family together more. Um, and we felt like we just kept working to make more money, but didn't have time to spend the money. So now we're still working, but the, the work that we're doing we're enjoying the work and we're able to spend it in tropical locations, eating wonderful food, visiting wonderful people, and just being together as a family, which I think is, is just extremely fulfilling. The hardest part was leaving family and friends. That was, that was probably the hardest part. And then getting used to living life on the water. Uh, I thought it was going to be a lot easier than it is. We work really, really hard to keep the boat in good condition and keep it working because boats break down a lot, a lot more than a house or even a car. So it's, everyone thinks it might be really, really easy, but it's not. It, it is difficult, but it's very fulfilling. Okay, what about you? Has anything been hard for you? Maybe like when it's not like um, hurricane season, probably kind of finding kids sometimes. Just sometimes, not very often, but you will find definitely kids. But you never really know like what age they are. They could be a different age than you. You could be like nine and they could be three, mm -hmm. or you know, it will still be really tricky. But it's still fun. The best part is uh, uh, not just the places that we go but it's actually the people that we meet the people in the sailing community are just some of the mm. most gracious helping just people. fantastic people we've ever met and it's just great and it goes on to the thing where it's the hardest thing is to say goodbye to yeah, them. yeah i think yeah. It's, i think the best thing is is the people that we meet yeah when we first started out we thought that it was all going to be about you know the traveling and seeing the, the sights fun. and yeah. when you're on vacations you just like about seeing the sights and you're so excited yeah. not really be you don't really meet people 
Yeah, when you when go on a, when you go on like a week long vacation or even longer, you don't really meet people. You're on yeah, because you want to do it fast. Yes, but with our lifestyle, we're always on vacation, yeah, kind of. Yeah, basically. And so it's the people that mean everything to us. And um, we've had times where we've met people and we've enjoyed being with them so much that we've changed our plans to, so that we could stay together longer yeah. or, or meet back again the following season. Mm -hmm. So that was, has been, I think, the most shocking thing. We didn't realize how social our life was going to become yeah. and how many incredible people we were going to meet. Yeah, we've met a lot of awesome people. No offense to the people that live in houses, and I've had more years on a boat than a house. Yep. So I think our life has improved massively. One of the big things that I really recognize is that because we're not we're not like back on land, um, we don't have massive access to news and commercialism. We don't have a TV. We do watch movies from time to time, but um, we do have a TV. Sorry, we do have a TV. We just don't. We don't watch. We don't often. want. We don't watch cable or. Yeah. So the only thing that we do have is like movies. Yeah, and on a hard so, drive. So we're kind of removed from what's going on in the world. We're still, people still let us know what's going on, but we're not like caught up in it. So our life really revolves around what we're gonna have for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, mm -hmm. which is like very important to me. The weather. The weather is the weather. really important. That's what we look at. What's the social activity going on for the week? Is there a full moon party? Is there a kids club? Mm -hmm. Is there some kind of sailing events? Is there a race? Um, I feel like we're, we live a lot more. Like we're, we're more in the now. Yeah. Like we're not thinking about the past or the future. We don't even know what we're gonna do next week. Yeah. And our, our lives are so much more fluid. And I, in one way I would say it's kind of our lives are basic. Um, because they're not that involved with like too many things, but on the flip side, it's just very flowing and very enjoyable and we're outside all the time and around great people. If somebody wants to do this, what would you recommend? Well, you need to go out and get sailing, see if you enjoy sailing for a start. That's, that's the main thing. So usually, um, sometimes people, we have these friends, that they bought a boat, but then they um, they got all the stuff. They got they got new anchor lights. They got a new anchor. They got it painted. They got solar panels. They got everything like full. It was like a luxury. But when they went sailing for the first time, they were like, "Okay, this is not for us. Sell the boat. Okay, we're moving to a camper van." <laughs> Yeah, so the big thing to recommend is that you actually try sailing. Yes. So we've met quite a few people that have watched videos or have seen other people do it, but they haven't tried it themselves. Yeah. So yeah. there's a lot of ways you can go about sailing. There's week-long sailing vacations. There are opportunities to crew for other people. You could get involved in a local yacht club. So there's lots of ways to get out and about. So the first thing to do if you're interested us. in this lifestyle is to get out and see if you like to sail. Yeah, we did about six or eight holidays, week-long holidays on a sailboat, mm -hmm. enjoyed that. Then we got a smaller boat in, in the bottom of the UK and sailed around for weekends and got used to boating and owning a boat. So that's what we did before we, we got the bigger boat to do what we're actually doing now. So kids, why, if you any kids are watching, I recommend you going on a boat because you have less school. And also it's really funny, you meet a lot more kids. <laughs> That's a million dollar question, isn't it? Yeah. Um, we'll keep sailing until we don't want to sail anymore. Yeah. Or yeah. the money runs out, or I don't know. Or if it becomes, you know, not fun or not enjoyable Yeah. yeah. Or we've been to every place in the world. Yeah. And ten times. Yeah. Because we'll have to do it ten times to stop. Yeah. About yeah, that. Privilege. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> so we've been sailing around for quite some time now and we've actually had quite a few guests come and join us and that's been family and friends. Mm -hmm. And the our boat costs a lot of money. And we've been trying to figure out how are we going to maintain um, our lifestyle. 
So what we decided to do was to create a liveaboard experience for people that want to do what we're doing. So there are opportunities out there to charter a boat for a week, and you can even hire a captain, but there's not so many opportunities out there to come aboard with a family and find out what it's really like to be true live aboard cruisers. So it's a, it's a little bit about everything. Everything, so we've got sailing, we've got going to beautiful white beaches, we have eating wonderful food, but it also is about how to maintain the generator what to do to keep the deck looking okay, how to make sure the boat stays afloat. Yeah. So we've uh, opened up our boat and our family for people to join us for a week-long adventure. And uh, so far it's going really good. It's going we're, good. We're having a blast and yeah. I think the people that have come out to join us so far are really enjoying it. Yeah. So if this is something that interests you, why don't you come and join us for a week-long experience on Brissacan? I don't, it didn't earn an ice cream. It's very good. Yeah. She thinks it's good. Do you think I deserve an ice cream? I think I deserve a... Your, your mum and dad will decide that. Yeah. I think I deserve a Bloody Mary. Yeah. <laughs>